Hey homesteader family. So I'm back at the new property, at the new homestead. I got another nine panels off of the other property. And as you can see, I got all these panels lined out and some fence already put up down at the other end. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep working this fence line and bring that fence on down along the property line and take it over to that hillside or just below that hillside down in the valley uh, where the stream goes through. So that way at least this property line is somewhat done. And then that fence line up there, I'm gonna take panels and do that fence line up over to that ridge over there. And then of course, all of this property up over this mountain and up over the next ridge is all part of the property. So I'm not worried about much more just right here where the driveway is at. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but up there is where you drive in in between the fence that I already have put up. And I'm gonna just get hustling on it. So tomorrow I'm gonna bring the goats over. So it'd be the first time the goats will be on the new property. And I'll go ahead and film their reaction. I'm gonna probably unload them down at the pond. So that way, I can get a good reaction on what they think down here at the pond because the ducks and the geese are loving it so for those of you that haven't seen the pond I'll run down here real quick and show you guys the beauty of water and like I've said many times water is life so without water you have nothing and that's why I bought this new homestead or I should say in the process of buying it uh, because of the water. The ducks, the geese are happy once I get the goats over here. And then down here in the creek bed, I want to fence an area off, you know, down and around and make that a pig area so the pigs can wallow in the water and in the mud. And I don't have to worry about uh, the droppings and the mess from the pigs ending up in the pond because the pond's up here and flows down there so we got the geese here and here's the big beautiful pond it's just amazing nothing like having great water so the end down there that has all the grass that you can see i'm going to be running a backhoe front end loader to fix the dam here on the pond because you can see the dam is washing away with all the water going on and i mean it's just getting worse and worse every time it overflows real bad so i'm gonna have to get all that back filled in and i'm gonna use everything up there and dig that shallow end of the pond back deeper so that will also extend the pond and uh then i want to go ahead and pull this culvert because the culvert's buried i want to go ahead and dig this culvert up and lift the culvert about another six inches to a foot so that way i can raise the pond another six inches to a foot have it come all the way to the bottom of the uh, duck house and goose house and then what i want to do over here where it helps overflow some i want to dig this out a little bit pour some concrete do cinder blocks on both sides so it's a water passageway and then over here, I want to shoot it out and I want to do a hydroelectric uh, water wheel. So the water wheel will spin by the water dumping down on the paddles and it will spin. It will continue the creek bed uh, here instead of up here. So it will continue that way and that will produce electricity. So not only will I have solar over here, but I'll have hydroelectric um power from the overflow and you can see it's overflowing really well it's probably about 40 45 gallons a minute that's pouring out of the pond and then this plastic that's starting to come up i gotta get that cut out and cleaned up so nothing like starting all over on a brand new homestead but at least the geese are happy right goose goose he's gonna ignore me <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Live happy, live free. That's the only way to be.